Okay, good morning everyone and happy new year. It's been a while since I've made a video. So today we're in a little town in the southwest of Ireland called Killarney. It, to be honest, it's probably one of the most touristic towns in Ireland and probably the most visited, I would say. Most people from Dublin and Cork and the main cities, if they wanna go for a weekend away, they're gonna come down to Killarney and today I'm gonna to show you why. And at the end of the video, you can kind of see for yourself, guys, if it's a place you would want to come and visit yourself or not. But I would say, if you do come to Ireland, you should come down to Killarney. You should not skip it. Even if it's for three days, is probably enough to see everything. I will show you all the main things today. So we will just walk up to the center of the town and then let's see what's going on. Now I'm in Market Cross, it's pretty much the centre of the town and in this town you can walk around it in literally 5-10 minutes. It's got like three roads, one up there, one down there and one over here. So now we're going to just walk around the town and kind of show you why Kilan is one of the best towns in Ireland. It's not like the best day today. As I walk around as well guys, you'll probably notice there's not many like franchise places uh, around here. It's all like locally owned hotels coffee shops ice cream shops as you can see Murphy's ice cream locally owned all of the little bars are pretty much locally owned too there's normally people standing outside here where you can actually sample the ice cream before you buy it so I'm gonna walk up to one of the other streets and kind of show you where the popular bars are at right as you can see as I walk around now you'll literally pass like shop shop restaurant then bar 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 just loads of different restaurants and bars like this one it's quite popular the Porter House and yeah there's basically just like I don't know how many bars there are actually in the town probably like hundreds to be fair and as you can see now at the top of the road the Guinness truck is dropping off all the stock like I said guys all of the bars here like will offer a different vibe you'll have some playing like traditional Irish music you'll have some more like modern ones but most of the places to be honest do like have a local vibe inside there's always music you will find music every night in this town in one of the bars got like asian street foods the different hotels so like i said you can imagine in the summer this place with all the bars i'm kind of showing you up on the screen how busy they will be like great party town in the summer for sure this time of year is going to be a bit quieter obviously just after christmas and new year but that's pretty much how the town looks like all bars so if you want to come for a like wild night out i'm sure many of you watching have maybe been here and you can let us know what you think of Kilani in the comments but like you will always have a good night out in Kilani, that's for sure like for me it's the best town in ireland and yeah for a lot of people living in dublin and cork it would be one of the like more popular places to come and visit so let's go on the outskirts of the town now and show you what that has to offer so i've just quickly hopped in the car guys and we're going to drive now down the muckross road to the outskirts of the town i'm going to show you guys what's to see just outside of the town now like i'm driving today but normally a lot of tourists what they will do they will rent a bicycle there's loads of like bikes for rent on the road out towards these places or you can rent a bike from the town also so very popular thing to do it's only like to the places i'm going now from the town it's probably only like two to three kilometers so if it's a nice day it's very nice to cycle out on these trails and we will go now to the next place the weather isn't looking too good so guys, in Killarney as well, there is a huge national park with like thousands of acres of land and there's so many different trails. So I've just come out to one now and as you can see, or maybe here, the water, we're walking up towards a Talk waterfall, popular place to visit here, just outside of Killarney. Like I said, you can cycle down here and as well guys they have like loads of trails you can go up the mountain to talk mountain we'll walk up towards the waterfall now and take a look and then if you continue on the stairs 
just by the side of the waterfall you can make your way all the way up to Talk Mountain so let's go and check it out wow the waterfall's coming down hard today because we've had a lot of rain and then just down the road from Talk Waterfall if you either walk or take a bike bicycle it's up to yourself we have Mucross House built in the 18th century got a lot of history behind it I won't go into it too much here on this video you can search online but it's on 11,000 acres of land check it out that's the view from the house you have the lakes and everything over there and it's a Tudor style house so let's have a look at it I'll put a few clips up now so you can see it better but you can actually go inside the house as well I think it's closed now because of the time of year but around here they have the house and gardens all the different trails you can walk like up to the waterfall and where I'm gonna walk now towards the old monastery and also they have the Jarvis the horse and carts that will take you around everywhere if you want to experience that like I said guys you can walk all around the grounds of the National Park here around the grounds of the house and then what we're gonna do now we're gonna walk up the trail towards the abbey and the old monastery so let's go you can walk back this way directly in front of the house straight up that trail there so we're going to continue walking along the path we're going to come to Mukras abbey an old monastery but check out the views behind me you got the lakes the mountain i think i said actually earlier in this video if you come down to kilani maybe you'll need two to three days but like if you're really into like walking hiking nature there's so like many mountains you can climb and so many like trails you can walk around by the lake so if you're into that kind of thing maybe you would need some more time but the town itself as you saw it's uh pretty small but like the activities and stuff you can do outside the town and the hikes they're pretty amazing to be fair um in another video we'll go hiking some of ireland's highest mountains we're now approaching Mokros Abbey. I think it was founded in 1448, but outside all of these uh, places anyway, they have some information on it there. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. And yeah, let's go inside. As you can see, when you first enter, you've got all the gravestones. And check it out, this is it. Mokros Abbey, and inside it, they have an old yew tree. So we'll go and check out this famous yew tree as well. So the structure's been damaged a lot, guys, because they had a bit of a violent history and it was like reconstructed, damaged, reconstructed. But this is what is left of it. Check it out. We'll go inside and take a look. So guys, this is in the middle of the courtyard. This is the yew tree I was telling you about. So this is basically in the middle of the structure of the Mukras Abbey. Check it out. And yeah, you can pretty much walk around everywhere here to be fair. You can go exploring everywhere. There's loads of different doorways, archways. You can just walk through them all. Check out what's around go through these like little tunnel kind of things so yeah Mokras Abbey has a lot of history like I said you can pause and read the thing out the front or you can come on a guided tour some locals do guided tours all around these kind of areas and you will learn all about the history I'm not going to go into it too much on this video but check it out really like beautiful old Irish monastery And then we'll continue a bit further up the road and head to the last historic touristy spot on this trip. Guys, the final stop on today's little day tour of Killarney is Ross Castle and check it out. The weather's bad but the, all the boats are here. You can actually take boat rides from here guys out on the lake. But today, like I said, it's been raining heavy and the car park of this place is flooded as I will show you now. Check it out. I don't know why this guy's going down there. 
look at it this is normally the car park you can come and park down here but now it's flooded so let's go and check out Ross Castle some of you who watch all of my videos have probably seen this in a previous video but it's right close to the lake so when it rains a lot the water comes up and obviously the place gets flooded now I'm guessing now guys the rain is gonna stop us here for today so at the back of Ross Castle you can take boats from there out and check out some of the islands that are over there in the distance and also yeah you have Ross Castle behind me so that's pretty much what you can do on a day trip if you come to Killarney everything that I've done today you will get done in one day you can either do it by bicycle or if you have a car you could rent a car you could also walk it if you're fit enough but it will be a lot harder because you'll have to walk a good few kilometers between each place but yeah that's pretty much it. You guys let me know in the comments what you think of Killarney. Have you been to Killarney before? Where is your favourite place? Like I said, it's probably the most visited town in Ireland. There's loads to do and see outside the town as you've seen. The town itself is a lot, just a lot of bars, restaurants, bars. So you can have a like, wild night out in Killarney for sure. And I will try and show you what the nightlife is here like before I go back on my travels. And yeah, that's pretty much what people know Killarney for. One of the best nights out in Ireland. And we will see you on the next video somewhere else in Ireland.